This is the MeshBook Pro. Jim sent me a couple of designs of his retro looking clamshell style 3D printed Meshtastic node case. He also sent a list of bits I'd need to get it going and said maybe you'd like to do a video if you think it's any good. If you think it's no good then don't bother, and I think it's great. It's a completely standalone, battery powered Meshtastic node with a built in screen and keyboard, and it uses a Rack Wireless node for the LoRa side of things. If you don't know what Meshtastic and LoRa are, I'll link a playlist in the description below, but it's basically an off grid application that uses radio to send text messages without the need for Wi Fi or a cellular network. Better still, the nodes mesh together to send messages over long distances, using one another as a repeater. So this is the case that Jim sent over, I must point out that Jim isn't paying me for this plug, nor will I make any commission from any that he sells. I'm just helping out a Meshtastic enthusiast with a great product, if you want to buy one the link is in the description below. As you can see it has a screen bezel, a hinge which also has a channel within to allow cables to pass through, a keyboard housing at the bottom, and a front cap that hides all the electronics inside. The print quality is really nice on this as I'm sure you'll agree, and it comes with the nuts and bolts needed to assemble it together. All you need to provide is three main components and a bit of soldering. The first thing is this screen, I'll link all the parts in the description below and put the model number on the screen. It's a 2.4 inch 128x64 pixel OLED display module, and it comes in board form in a mixture of different colours. I paid around £5 for it and it came in about a week. As you can see it's pretty bright and shows the display from the LoRa node quite nicely. The next component is the M5 Stack Official Card KB Mini Keyboard. These are being used for a whole host of different electronics projects, and as you can see it's got a really cool design to it. I paid around £6 for this, and it took around a week to come. It has surface mounted keys that you can easily press, and the function of each key is printed on the board. The next component and the brains of all this, is the Rack Wireless Meshtastic Starter Kit. This is the node that sends and receives all of the messages and handles power to the keyboard and screen and controls charging. It cost around $28 and I'll link it below. So the next part is assembly and it's quite simple and requires a minimal amount of soldering. Jim provides an easy to follow assembly guide and I am by no means an expert in soldering but I managed it. There's a few ways of doing this, I'll show you my way first. I soldered 4 wires to both sets of the ground, VDD, SCL and SDA pinouts on the display module. I also put the Bluetooth and LoRa antennas inside the screen section too. Then the 8 wires and 2 coax cables from the antennas can be fed through the channel into the bottom half of the case. At this point I screwed down the display and put the back cover on using the screws that Jim provided. I then used 2 bolts in the kit to secure both halves of the case together. Next, one set of wires from the screen needs to be soldered to the keyboard. Firstly however, this connector needs to be desoldered in order for the case to close. After removing it and being careful not to lift the pads, the four wires can be soldered to the ground, VDD, SCL and SDA pinouts. The manual tells you which pad is which. I used a bit of hot glue to insulate the solder joints and provide a bit of strain relief. A small amount of epoxy would be better and look cleaner, but I didn't have any to hand. In hindsight I would have used much thinner wires too. The other four wires from the display can now go to the ground, VDD, SCL and SDA pinouts on the rack wireless board, it's that simple. The only other thing left to do is put the switch wires into the battery's negative lead, to enable that to function, and you're more or less ready to finish the assembly. The rack board screws into the base of the bottom section of the case. The keyboard can then slot in place over the top, the battery can be fixed to the bottom of the keyboard using some double sided tape, and the front panel can be screwed into place. You can also wire the whole thing together like this, which removes a set of wires from the hinge channel, it's up to you. Now that your MeshBook Pro is assembled, you can use the online web flasher to flash it with the latest software, as you would with any node. And there's just two settings that need to be changed within the phone app to get you up and running. The first is selecting the display from the list in the display settings, and the second is enabling canned messages. 
As you can see, this is really simple to use. It makes a great standalone pocket messenger. You can just switch it on and type messages to the nodes that appear on your node list, which can be cycled through using the arrows. Or you can enter the long fast channel and type your message there. Hitting enter sends your message. If you incorporate GPS into your rack board, you'll be able to see how far away stations are, but I keep my node locations switched off for obvious reasons. So that's Jim's fantastic Meshbook Pro. If you'd like to buy the case from him, then I'll link it in the description below, along with the other components you'll need to put this cool project together. Thanks to Jim for reaching out and sending me this design, and I hope you have fun using your Meshbook Pro. Thank you.